this was in, in an effort to to work out a deal to get Sean Payton as their head coach. This was after they had fired Flores, but before this is the week before Flores filed his suit against the Dolphins and other teams, the league, um, and and everything got started there. My question is, if you're the Saints, and you internally you would have known that Sean Payton was possibly not returning, and at that point you probably have a great idea he's not coming back, why not get something in return for the coach that's not going to be your coach anymore? They still hold his rights right now. So they would still have to be compensated something if Sean Payton wants to jump back in it. But I'm, I'm the last 12 hours or so since we saw this report, I'm trying to figure out why they wouldn't have accepted something in return for Sean Payton. Well, wouldn't a Payton ultimately told them uh, uh, that he, was, he wasn't going to coach in 2022? Don't you think that would be part of it? The other part of it is that the Well, they Saints, turned down the request. Yeah, yeah. So you could have got the conversation started. The other part of it, the Saints don't want him coaching anywhere, which is weird. Like I, I'm with you. I'd rather have get some, some compensation yeah. and let him coach somewhere. He's not on the schedule. In uh, they don't play head to head this year. Um, they don't play head to head unless their schedules maybe match up in 2023 either. Um. Their schedules could match up if they if they finish in the same place in 2023, they could play. But Still, even that I mean, is not enough. This to, seems to, to me to be an example to once again of where of where pettiness trumps good business. Yep. The Saints did not want to give Sean Payton what he wanted, which was an out in New Orleans and to go coach football somewhere else. They weren't going to give that to him in year one, and so they did something that wasn't in the best interest of their club, and that would have been. If Sean Payton doesn't want to coach your team, you can at least get something in return and he can go coach someone else's team. To but me, I, this is think, pretty clear of what happened here. But I think there are a couple steps, right, Hut, that you would allow them to talk. Um, but in allowing them to you talk, would, you allow you might yourself to, to talk with them. Well, keep right. in mind. It's a negotiation about getting something in return. The, the Raiders, whenever they traded John Gruden's contract to the Bucks, they got two first-rounders and two second-round picks out of it. They had four picks and two picks each of the first and second round, plus plus eight million dollars in cash, which was a way better deal for the Bucks at that stage because the Bucks had a championship caliber roster. Gruden went and delivered, and then had a ultimately lesser roster as a couple years went by because he didn't have those picks. Well, I guess I'm, I'm throwing that out there. Miami doesn't have a championship caliber roster necessarily. But why they wouldn't have talked it through, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't yeah. make sense to not There's hash it There's got to be an obvious bit. reason. I just don't know. I can't come up with it. And Tom you know? Brady was to be a part of this also. They wanted – and he's presumably the quarterback that was on the yacht for the meeting that they were going to coincidentally uh, you know, have their yachts bump into each other, Stephen Ross and Tom, Tom Brady, who's unnamed here, but – Everybody connected but what they, the dot. So the reports are with Brady that they were trying to get him to become a minority owner in the franchise. And if he ever chose to come out of retirement, he would be their quarterback. That was That's the report. Is The pitch to Brady this offseason has already been, would you like to become my minority owner of the Miami Dolphins? Well, and, the, in the terms report, of playing when you're a minority owner, that's complicated. That came up when Bud Adams was courting Peyton Manning. And you can't do it because it counts. You can't promise something to him. Well, uh, I, yeah, that may be part of it, but you can't have him play as a co-owner because the value of your ownership stake counts against the cap, which would blow up your cap because a 1% ownership is, but, but the, is think, more valuable than cap. But I think the difference here, and uh, again, I'm, I'm reading the, the, the early report on, on how Brady ties into this. I think the difference here was they were giving him the option of buying in. Right, you would buy in as the minority owner, right. and and going back to the the Manning recruitment, it was hey, sign here, and I'm going to give you this in return. So if if he did come in as a minority owner and then came back to play, he would have had to divest, play, reinvest. Well, help me with this because this makes no sense to me. This is from the Pro Football Talk report. The Dolphins plan to pursue Sean Payton to be the coach and Tom Brady to be the starting quarterback. Okay, great. Goes on to say, but the plan was scrapped. After Brian Flores filed his lawsuit against the league and the Dolphins, Giants, and Broncos, 
But the report goes on to say they reached out to the Saints and the Saints declined to allow them to speak to Sean Payton before the Brian Flores lawsuit happened in the time between the vacancy and the lawsuit being filed. Well, doesn't the deal end at that point? It's weird that they go on to say the plan was scrapped after the Flores lawsuit, but oh, by the way, in the week leading up to the lawsuit, they were already, they said no. The Saints said no. Yeah. That's so that, the, the plan is scrapped uh, at that point. You can't get them at that point. So that's a weird way to word the story in the report. And you also, so it's like they're trying to lump two or three different things in there all at once about why the Dolphins didn't go through with it. I think they didn't go through it because the Saints wouldn't allow them to go through right. with it. And you also have to be careful with the, the way they report this Brady news because while I don't disagree, that the, the Dolphins want Brady to be their starting quarterback. I mean, they wanted it years ago, a couple years ago. But they also just can't go sign him because the Buccaneers still hold his rights there too. You would have to compensate Tampa Bay for the, the rights to retain Brady when he chooses to come out of retirement. 